school classmates mourn the loss of 17 year old Heather Herod tonight. 41 NBC's Joy Dukes was there and she has more. Joy. January, the overwhelming number of students, faculty, and family members who showed up at Rutland High School earlier tonight showed one thing. Heather may be gone, but she will not be forgotten. And she, is me she meant a lot to a lot of people. I think all I could think about was the world lost a wonderful person. Eyes wet and hearts heavy. Family members, friends, faculty, and students gathered at Rutland High School to mourn a great loss and say goodbye to a beloved member of the hurricane community. Something like this happened, it's just devastating to anybody who's around here. She has touched so many people. A senior this year with so much life ahead of her. She was the best person I know. She was so kind and bubbly and she just collided up a room. Heather Harrod died in a terrible car accident on I-475 and I-75 just Tuesday. You know, I didn't want to believe it because I didn't accept it. One of my friends said, bro, she's gone. And I said, what do you mean she's gone? You know, it finally hit me. I lost it. Many still in shock that their dear friend, teammate, and classmate didn't return to school on Wednesday. I was telling myself, like, this is not our Heather. This is not the Heather that we know. Candles, candy, a soccer ball and cleats, and her favorites, sunflowers. There's no other way to put it, but she was Heather. All enshrined the place that was once her parking space. She's always going to be with us radiating no matter what happens. A tough first night of many to get through. The Rutland community stood strongly in support of one another because they know what Heather would have said if she were still alive. I know if she was here right now, she would tell me to pick up my head. Just keep on moving. I like that she was still there. There wasn't a dry eye at tonight's vigil. Many students said they felt lost at school today. But being able to share and remember Heather tonight was a big help. Very sad story. Thank you so much, Joy. The Harad family was so appreciative and moved by the overwhelming love and support they saw. The school principal has asked that people continue to keep them in your thoughts and prayers.